Hi, good evening. This is uh, Roberto Mickey again. Uh, I'm going to show you um, step by step how to take a Weird Tales snorkel mask and convert it into an N99 mask with face shield. So the first step is you want to take this snorkel off. The snorkel does normally detach, but it hinges right here. So the first step is to take a pair of clippers, clip the snorkel uh, right here, right below the hinge, and use a pair of clippers like this, and you can go snip, snip, and then the snorkel will come off like that. Next, um, you want to see that there's a little hinge here that's still left behind. And so what you want to do is take a hacksaw and hacksaw that off. Um, you want to get it pretty flush, and you should get something like this. Okay, nice and flush. So there's no, there's nothing of the hinge left. Okay, and you have a nice area for the um, uh, tubing coupler to be able to attach to it. Okay, so uh, you can rest this aside. The next is you're going to take a Fernco P0, P1056100, and you're going to take it out of the packaging. You're going to remove these little um, O-ring things and put them on the side. You're going to take this one out of the package as well, which is a three-quarter inch. Fernco P1056075. And you're going to take a Fernco PWC100. It comes in this uh, pink or in this uh, blue uh, packaging. You're going to take it out and you're going to take off the rings as well. So at this point in time, you're going to have this one inch um, sort of uh, uh, tubing coupler. And you're going to sort of knead it and kind of get a little bit more flexible. You want to flatten it like this so it mimics the end of the uh, mask. And basically you kind of do something like that. You stretch it onto one side and you should be able to sneak it on like this. And then you gotta sort of really kind of push it hard uh, to get it over the edge of that and then onto the snorkel. And basically you kind of just squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn, squeeze and turn. And it should go on pretty easily. It should be a snug fit. One thing I've done is one thing I've done is do this and stretch it out a little bit, and it usually will help it get on there. It is rubber, so it does stretch ever so slightly in this case because it's pretty thick stuff. Once you get it to the level of these eyeballs, that's probably about as far as once you get it to the level of these eyeballs, it's probably about as far as you're going to be able to get it. Those little eyeballs there. Okay. So the next, uh, what you're going to want to do is. Um, Take one of these ties, okay, and put it on there. Uh, you take your screwdriver, and I kind of squeeze it so it's being squeezed here so that you get nice even pressure. And if my hands will cooperate, kind of squeeze it like this. I like this angle out for you, I need some sterile skill. Now you got it relatively tight. So then the next step is to take some silicone gel, okay? And you wanna put the silicone gel down here on this edge, right here, and on this edge up here, and fill those voids. And you wanna go all the way around, but you don't wanna fill the holes that are obviously for breathing. You wanna fill this thing down here and this thing up here with just a little bit of sealant, okay? Then next, you wanna take on this side, you want to fill this gap here because that's a hole that air can come through. And you want to go all the way around the edges here. You want to fill this whole area in. I, I glopped it on, and I'll show you the example. Uh, all this whole area got it glopped, uh, glop, glopped up with uh, the silicone. And then you want to go down underneath here, underneath this edge right here, 
underneath this edge right here and make sure you get all this edge right here as well. Basically, you want to be circumferentially around this one. Okay. Next, you're going to take your three-quarter inch adapter and you're going to coupler and you're going to put it in there. Now, what you got to notice is that there's this ridge here. You got to get this past this ridge. Okay. So you got to push this in there and you got to get it. That edge has got to be past there so that none of the this narrow area is, is poking through. Then you're gonna take your next coupler, go right on top of that, and once again, squeeze a little bit so that it makes an oval shape, more of an oval shape than a round shape, and then you tighten it down. Want that too much because your next step you want to be able to get this in so this is the PWC 100 and you want to take the short end or the smaller end and sort of force it into the other tubing and kind of once again pass this little ridge here and just push that in there like that okay then you're gonna take your next ring Put it on here, tighten it down, stab myself. Tighten it down too much because you want to be able to get the next thing in, which is the filter. So you take your filter and uh, you can take the 22 inch section, stick it down in there like that. Oh, sorry, got one step first. You got to get the ring on first. And you want it to be pretty loose in order to be able to stretch it out. You got to be able to stretch out the uh, and you stick your filter on, get it nice and tight like that. And then you secure it with your okay. and you want to seal each each you want to seal each layer uh, with silicone all the way around. And we're going to show you what that should look like on this model. And basically, you can see how much silicone I put all the way around this thing here, all the way around here. It's still a little soft; it hasn't set completely. And each each area of leakage, we're we're getting a uh, layer of silicone, okay, so that it won't leak. Uh, and uh, this is uh, pretty good, uh, right there, okay. You are also, if you're in a hospital setting, you wanna, and you wanna protect your patients from you, uh, because you don't necessarily know you have, um, uh, have gotten uh, the uh, COVID uh, virus. Is that you wanna take this, take a little clipper like we had before, cut this out, this little, this little hole right here, cut it out, and then fill this whole area uh, with, um, uh, with uh, a silicone gel. And uh, we have an example of that with this mask where we've done that and we filled up the whole thing with silicone and on the inside you can sort of see it uh, right there. So that flap won't, this, um, this one-way valve which allows air out will not let air out. All the air has to come out the top. That's it. Um, basically now you have a fully uh, operational um, uh, mask uh, with the N99 filter. Um, yeah, each of these parts is about five dollars, so uh, you're talking about a fifteen dollar adapter. Uh, you could alternatively, uh, sorry, you also need to do a fit test on this every time you do it. Okay, have a good one. Hopefully, this worked for you.